Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's bright and early this morning on Tuesday morning. One more day till we find out if we get our house. Ah, the waiting and the anticipation is crazy. Um, I'm on my way to work right now, so putting on some sunglasses, buckling up. I wanted to show you something that I, I you know that I quit soda and coffee since starting keto, uh, ketovore, carnivore, whatever. Um, but I love these. Have you guys tried these, the polar seltzer? All it is is seltzer. There's no flavoring, nothing. But for some reason, this brand, it's so crisp. I don't know. I can't explain it. Better than any seltzer I've tried. So I always pack a few of them in my work bag. And as per usual, I got the big jug of electrolyte water. And we are headed to work. And I figured I'd just take some time and chat. Because there's a lot going on, guys. Um still doing carnivore predominantly um at the last video i think i told you we all had agreed to add in some vegetables um but i just i don't know i just love the way i feel when i do the carnivore meat <laughs> that's that's really how i'm i'm seeing that i feel best that way um i did have some turkey burgers like lettuce wrapped and they were delicious um, but I just have no desire. I have no desire to eat the vegetables. And, and there's questions coming in in regards to how am I getting in my fiber and things like that. Um, interestingly enough, the way the body works when you are only eating meat and healthy fat, your body does like a switch over. So you don't necessarily need plants in your day. Um, the best person that I have found who explains this the best is Dr. Ken Berry. He is on YouTube. Uh, he and his wife do um, keto. Well, she does ketovore and he does carnivore. And carnivore, believe it or not, has huge studies long term. People that have been on it for 10 years more uh, that have literally battled binge eating, they've battled diabetes, they've battled inflammation, they've battled like like people that have irritable bowel, it seems to like cure that. I don't know. I'm not saying it does, but I'm saying this is what a lot of his videos talk about health and wellness. Um, and as we get older, the way the body chemistry changes and all of those things, I'm sorry this angle is not the best. <laughs> I'm looking and I could like, cause it's from down here. Um, but like, he's just captivating. I learn so much from watching his videos that I, you know, I'm like a follower. I'm a believer because I'm over a month of doing this straight and I, have never felt more even keel. Like I feel I'm sleeping, I wake up happy, my moods aren't everywhere, I have no cravings, I have no desire to eat anything that's not like, my mainstay of what I eat is eggs, bacon, steak, like ribeye, um, I love ground beef, I love pork, I love shellfish, mussels, clams, shrimp, salmon, all of those things. I incorporate butter. I don't, I haven't been eating any avocado. Literally just like meat and seafood. And I, I can't explain it because I would think I was crazy too, <laughs> but it works. It works. It's not so much a weight loss thing. It just works for my brain. My brain feels good. My body feels good. I don't wake up puffy. I don't wake up moody. I don't, I like my hormones are nice. Like, oh, and by the way, I did have labs drawn. My hormone levels are all good. <laughs> I was actually going to take a picture and post it, but as a nurse and you know, like I can't be putting out there. I mean, I guess I could, but I, I, 
having a license the way I do, I don't want to make any of these videos like me telling you what to do. This is just what I'm doing. You can, this is for entertainment purposes or if you want to try it, you know, that's up to you. But I'm not, by no means am I telling you what to do. But I have to tell you, I have never felt better. I really haven't. I mean, maybe when I was in my 20s. But, you know, when you're in your 20s, you stay up late, you are you don't get enough sleep, you're running around, you're partying, you're doing all those things. So, I have to say, like, I really feel this is, like, one of the best times of life. Menopause, I think I'm, like, in that very last stage. I uh, haven't had a period again in a while, so, like, praying it's, like, over already. Um, I don't know, guys. I just... I don't know. I'm in like a state of bliss every day. I wake up, I get dressed, I get in the shower, I clean up, I do what I have to do, and I'm not like dragging. I'm not looking for coffee. Who would have ever thought I'd give up coffee? I'm a huge coffee drinker, and I love it, but I haven't had any. Haven't had creamer, haven't had like a little bit of cheese, a little bit feta and Parmesan. Those are the two cheeses that don't really make me want more like if I have um like the other night I had some ground beef in a bowl and I put a tablespoon of regular whole fat feta just a couple of those little parmesan crisps that was it if I eat like mozzarella or cheddar or swiss or munster or any of those cheeses I mean I could eat it like my entire day but for some reason those like tart kinds of cheese the parmesan and the feta they, they got that bite to it it doesn't make me crave more so I'm learning you know what works for me and I'm just sharing okay so as far as the house scenario you know we're we're looking for a house we've found several that we put bids down on and we unfortunately we're always overbid I <laughs> like I can't do you know eighty thousand dollars over asking price that is just nutso because we have a price range we were approved for a loan you know a mortgage all these things but the one thing is I don't want to live above my means you know when you're in your 50s you you know my kids are grown they're both out of college. They both have jobs. Well, Brittany's on, you know, she just graduated college, so she's actively looking. But it's just Jess and I. And he and I are like, of course we wanted this big house and whatnot. And then we're thinking, like, that's a lot of upkeep. <laughs> and he doesn't want to spend the whole weekend, you know, landscaping and doing all that. I certainly don't want to spend my entire weekend's you know cleaning and all of that like I like to do sheets and things on Sundays and clean you know and now that I'm not working from home anymore I literally have my weekends and so we found a nice home it's four bedroom it's two baths it's a kitchen dining room living room laundry room and a basement and that's it and it has a yard that's not gigantic but definitely um, perfect for what we're looking to do we love to entertain so you know parties gatherings and things like that it's a perfect house and the interesting thing is the builder bought this house gutted it to the studs <laughs> and redid the whole thing so essentially it's a brand new house and even more interesting, it's about 20 minutes away from where we are now, where I lived when Kevin and Brittany were babies. It's just how, like, it's almost like the cycle of life or the circle of life or whatever. Like, I never thought I would go back up that way, but um, we may. We may. So we put an offer in on Monday, yesterday, and then a few hours later, the seller's re, uh, realtor called and said someone else put an offer in uh, that was slightly higher than ours. So we decided we were going to go in again and bid a little bit higher. And we find out tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, pray. This house is great. I love it. All new. And I mean, like we're for us with where we live, it's like it's so hard to find a house that's under $700,000 <laughs> complete craziness three years ago those same houses would have been like four 
um, the market sucks right now. The reason we're so um, dead set on moving is because we are renters and our landlord is looking to sell our house and we do not want to buy it. It's, it's nice. It did, you know, our family well for the past few years, but it's just, it's so outdated and old and the, there's no flow. It's, it's just, it's very hard to have gatherings in that house because of the tight space that we have. That's why I never really bring you around my house. There's nothing to see. It's a kitchen. There's no dining room. It's literally a kitchen, a bathroom, three bedrooms <laughs> and a little living room. That's it. We do have a basement. Um, but it's not, you know, like a nice finished basement. It's where Jess has his gym equipment and his vocal booth and all of those things. So, I mean, we're literally limited in this house and I love our neighbors. I will miss them terribly, but it's time. Um, and I'm excited for this next chapter, you know, Hopefully in the next few years we'll have Kevin getting married and I'm sure they'll start a family at some point and like I just want a nice little place where everybody can come. This may be our forever home. Who knows what the future holds. You know, maybe we will sell or rent it out and get something else. Maybe at some point we will do, I don't know, a condo. Maybe move to Florida. Like, I don't know. But I just, there's a piece of me that doesn't want to move far away from my family. Um parents live in Florida but Kevin uh, being that he's a career firefighter he he will be in New Jersey probably f until he retires um, and I don't want to miss out on all those things so if we have a house here and a place in Florida and then we can like go back and forth that would be nice <laughs> but that's a long way out probably at least 10 years so anyway I'm rambling so what I what I would like to know from you guys is um, if we get this house, would you like to see an empty house tour? Would you like to see me shopping for furniture and decorating and all of those things? I would love to know if that's something you want to see because on carnivore right now, my eating, my menu throughout the day is so little like variety that that's why I'm having a hard time creating content for you guys. There's a lot of things coming up. Jess and I are taking a weekend away. We're going to the beach. So, you know, I have other videos coming and maybe I could show you how I eat carnivore while away. But just let me know in the comments kind of like what, you know, what you want to see. Definitely going to be doing a lot of home goods. Um, you know, all those stores I got to, we need a whole new living room set because the couch that we have in our living room now is <laughs> ancient and it is, it is, we've put off for so long because of the dogs. Um, but now that they're not puppies and all this other stuff, they're really good. So I can actually have a nice living room set. And a year or so ago, we were thinking of redoing our living room. But again, we rent. And I kept saying, what if we move? What if we move? Then I got to, you know, the furniture scenario. So we have been holding out. <laughs> and I can't wait to get a new living room set, get a new dining set. Just like start fresh to like a new chapter in our lives and I'm excited so anyway I am almost to work um so I guess I will see you in my next video I'm gonna go chug some electrolytes and you guys take care and stay well and thank you for following and subscribing I appreciate it so much I love you guys bye